the increasing cost of the Kit Kat. Welcome to Mark and Pete. Here's a thought. The splatter of patter. If you love to chit chat when having a Kit Kat because you like the sound they make and in the tit for tat, drinks go split a splat. Perhaps it's time to have a break. <laughs> Clergyman Pete, there's a worrying trend, I'm afraid, and I'm going to have to be the one to announce it. Yes, again, prices are going up. And the Swiss yep. food giant Nestle has increased its prices by 6.5 percent, folks. And so yep. what this means is ingredients are getting more and more expensive. And of course, they have to pass it on to our consumers. Awesome. Now, I will say that a Kit Kat is a lovely thing to have dunking in your coffee or tea. Yeah. And I will say that um, many people have other sort of biscuits, cakes, Mars bars, for example, lovely things to eat. I'm going to ask you, wherever you are in the United Kingdom, in the United States and anywhere else in the world, I'm afraid your little snack bar is going up. So what are you going to do to tighten your belt? Yep. Yes, that's a good way of putting it. I mean, the Kit Kat is interesting uh, as a phenomenon because it is very popular. And it, it, I, I think it's, I would put it yes. this way, it's just right. Grab it's them there so and rich. make it snappy. It's not so rich and deliberate, uh, uh, so rich and delicious that you think, oh, I've got to have one. But on the other hand, you're sitting down with a cup of coffee and you think, I I'll have a Kit Kat. It's just nicer than a normal yes. biscuit but not so extravagant that it feels like a luxury. So I think it's positioned itself just right. It's a show. Uh, now, do you know, uh, as the businessman in our duo here, do you know why the cost of this uh, producing this biscuit and others is going yes. up so much? Well, there's a number of things. So as we've all seen, supply chain costs have um, basically um, caused some of the issues. Now, the ingredients are multitude. We're not just talking about Kit Kat, but of course, grain is one of the biggest issues. Yeah, when you sure, make yeah. things from, you know, from, from various sources, um, uh, such as grain, and we know that the issues in Ukraine and the yep. challenges with Russia getting has caused some issues yeah. with getting the grain out. <clears throat> now, what I will say there is, is that that's one source, but it's not the only reason why prices are going up. Fuel costs, folks, and energy costs. Yeah, if you are a manufacturer and you are trying to run a manufacturing plant, having lots of energy, gas and electricity, etc., are needed. And of course, that is very expensive. The amount of energy that typically manufacturers use, including consumer goods, so those like Nestle and many others who are making Kit Kat bars, folks, is getting very, very expensive, not just on the ingredients but not just also on the running of the production. Here's the other thing as well, because our plastics that are used to wrap them up are coming from oil-based products. And the oils that make the plastics, etc., are also going up. So if you really want to think about it, um, there's we're being sort of squeezed all round. Now, I don't like this because I think we all, certainly in Britain, but I think many, many other people around the world like their little break. Let's be honest. We're all working very, very hard to try and sort of help our respective <laughs> chancellors and <laughs> to sort of build up the coffers yeah. because they need it. But we need a break, folks. And there's nothing better than dunking a Kit Kat into your beverage, your finest yeah. beverage, whatever yeah. it is. So if yeah. that means that you can't afford the Kit Kat, does that mean that we can't even afford the drink? Well, uh, it could be. I mean, uh, so, so if you've got uh, supply issues and you're not able to move yes. food around the world, is, yeah, is lots of those things, uh, including tea and coffee, are well, get very expensive. Guess what? Well, in North America, um, it has gone up by 9.8%. What, what has? Sorry, I didn't get that. The, the overall prices, overall, overall prices overall of goods, price. consumer yeah, goods. Okay. Uh, and I'm not just talking about Kit Kat bars, etc. Yeah. Now, this is, of course, seen that um, these organic sales, which um, really is the thing that they sort of build their, their business on, overall is sort of squeezing margins. Now, yes. at the end of the day, what I would say is that I can see that this is not actually going to change. And here's a bit of a prediction. Because once somebody inflates prices on certain goods, what will actually happen is, is that that will be pushed on to the retailer, which will be pushed on to the consumer. 
And even if energy prices do go down, and though we are seeing already fluctuations in the energy price, I don't think necessarily that we're going to see our consumer goods go down. So <clears throat> what you might want to think about is um, thinking very carefully about what you stock in your cupboards and, um, and really sort of maybe sort of being a little bit more selective. So you talked about many other goods, you know, you, I think yeah. you're... You're quite partial, I believe, to um, a Mars bar, and um, I well, prefer a Kit Kat. But maybe that was my case. Going back in in, in my not having history, both, yes, Mars just have bars to pay a big role in my nutritional input. Yes, yes, but maybe what you have to do is, as a Kit Kat bar, when you have a break, is is just break it and only have half of it. Um, well, we'll I mean, maybe we're getting day, to that yeah. level. I, I mean, the thing is, for me, uh, as you know, just. To, Breaking up of this is personal. Yes, I used to like a, a, a Mars bar or a Kit Kat with my lunch, so I would not as a break. It would be it would be effectively the dessert or the pudding, mm. the classic British lunch. Maybe it's just me, but cheese and pickle sandwich, a Kit Kat, and some crisps. Yes, possibly all of which have gone up in price. Exactly, all of it, which is expensive. But it's not what I eat now. No, I tend to. I would tend to have. Even for a snack, I would have some cheese, maybe with an apple or salad. Yeah. yeah. Well, that, that's that's commendable, but um, unfortunately, people do do like their little uh, sweet treats. Yeah, I yeah, I would be very yes. interested to know what what the um our, our, you know well, glorious li- <laughs> listeners think. What uh, do they do when they have the break, and what's their favourite beverage or snack? Now, now our listeners have not been called glorious before, but I'm sure that's true. And uh, they do. I mean, they deserve their snack, don't they? They deserve a little oh, yeah. me up uh, of an afternoon, maybe even midway. Yes, maybe uh, that's a good time thing. for us to take a break. I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, w- when you take a break, you, what you're going to do is binge listen to a few episodes of Mark and Pete. Yummy. I mean, that's quite normal behavior. Yummy, and you'll yummy. need a, a, a beverage and a biscuit to go with that. So what is the one of your choice? It probably is the Kit Kat, but I'd like to hear from you. Go to markandpete.com, leave a comment. We'll read them and probably feature you next time as you snack on a Kit Kat and listen to us. But for Mark and Pete, for this week, it's goodbye. Catch you next time. Bye for now. <laughs>